Hi, this is KC from KC Boomer Tech, where we talk about everything tech and fun stuff and more. Hey, we're all going Meshuggah now, right? We're stuck home. We've had to work from home, live stream from home, do whatever we have to do, and it's making us crazy. Well, the same thing, many churches have had to scramble to try to get um, that live stream going, um, and many of them don't know or can't figure out how to make things work right. Well, we developed an audio issue, which was making me, again, mushugana, and we were trying everything, and I came up with a solution called Scarlet, and that's what I want to talk to you about, so stay tuned, and I'll find you how we fixed the solution of audio mixing that really was making me crazy. <laughs> So what am I talking about? Well, everything was great. We can when the pastor got up and started talking to the microphone, the sound was great. No issues. And but when we got up the worship team and came up, everything sounded great at the mixing station, you know, at the soundboard. Everything was good. Sound was perfect. Then we have the cord that came from the soundboard. They went into the computer right? And then we were live streaming out by OBS. And no matter what that we tried, there was muffling and muffling and the, 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 the worship leader sounded off key and it was making me absolutely crazy. And we, nobody, nothing we tried on the soundboard, nothing we tried on the computer would fix it. But I came up with a solution and let me show you what it is. So, in our particular setup, we were using a soundboard, and uh, which our microphones and all of the instruments were connected to, and that would output from the soundboard into the line-in in the computer. We were running OBS software. Now, we had no issues and no problems um, in sound quality when you were listening to it, but when it went out through OBS and out on live stream, um, pastor sounded great, but the instruments, the mixing was something was wrong and we couldn't figure it out. So what someone told us about was a box, uh, called, and I'm going to show it to you. It's called a forced right Scarlet solo. And what this box is, is your laptop or computer has a sound card built into it but it's not really designed for the kind of sound that you're outputting from the soundboard. So what starts happening, it starts clipping and starts giving you all kinds of issues and the sound just not what it can be. So what you can do is what this box does is it converts the analog signal that's coming out of your soundboard and converts it to a digital signal, which the computer can use. And that sound doesn't, your computer doesn't cut, clip, or do anything with it. Now, the box has two inputs. And uh, it's normally it would be, you could use it for, you know, connecting a piano or can, and a mic or um, your guitar or anything else. And it comes in many, many other versions. Um, and you take that box, plug it in to the soundboard, um, the other end of it, you plug into the uh, your computer into a USB socket, preferably 3.0, because it handles a higher digital rate. And suddenly, you'll notice that you don't have any more sound clipping, no more sound issues, where the what's happening is the sound card is clipping part of your and and scrambling some of the sounds that you had, and it was a great great difference. Let me show you something else. And so, and it comes in various versions, one with one, one uh, mic in and one other port, or it comes in with multiple ports. Um, they come in kits with microphones and such. So if you're in the process of setting up a live stream in your church or at your house where you want to, you know, be able to record to your laptop and live stream and you're connecting your instruments, this is the way to go, in my opinion. You plug this, your instruments, into this, and 
if you don't have a soundboard and plug this directly into your computer it it come it comes with in some packages mixing software and stuff like that but in our case what we do is we go out by OBS and um it'll be immediately detected by open broadcasting software um you select that as your audio input and man i tell you if you want to tell me i was delighted i can only talk good about it because the sound quality difference was amazing you know you know when you're trying to get that sound you know or when you're the singer hitting that high note and it before it was was not coming through on the live stream but it is now so i hope this has been helpful for you you can find find us in a lot of places um you know your local music store might have it uh the or well, they can order it i found it on amazon and the base price starts around a hundred dollars and of course you'll have to order the correct cables for your individual thing anyway i hope that's been helpful for you it that particular device helped us immensely because i know so many churches are trying to set up their live stream whether from home at the church or maybe you have a band and you want to try to live stream from your home. Um, this will really help you. Uh, so please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, in the comment section, please put any advice um, or questions you have about sub other subjects you'd like to talk about. And until next time, you'd be great, you'd be safe, and God bless. Bye -bye.